so now as uh, we have the file service up and running we will just define a particular port for this and we know why, where the file service is running it should be running on uh, we can use 3008 so that we can have a sequence from 3 from 1 to 8 3008 and we will just update the main.ts and the environment file so that when the file service is up and running it should come up on 3008 okay now we also need to add a middleware on the proxy so that whenever the request is coming from the file service full file service it should be able to redirect on the port 3008 this file service so we can create a proxy and in this proxy we will just change the port and inside of our service it will be a file service so pretty much simple we'll just change the the file name and register this middleware on the app.ts okay because we already have all these middlewares created and we know how all these things work so we'll just create a new reverse proxy middleware and in the app module.ts we will just register this uh, new middleware for a different path so my path is let's say v1 file service so whenever you are hitting a v1 file service forward slash something it will take us to the file service middleware which will take your request to the target 3008 port on the file service okay so our file service is up and running now now what else we can do so this is our pretty much simple file service that is using prisma that is using aws s3 s3 sdk that is using this pnpm packages now we can also create some more routes and more pages because uh, next what you will do is after adding a restaurant you should start adding the new menu items so we will be just using this next js routing the smart routing so in the id we added a add folder there we have this page.tsx that will help you to add a new uh, restaurant menu item i mean restaurant uh, menu item to the restaurant so there can be a simple form i'm using the same uh, component right now here inside add we have page.tsx that contains a simple same form which is copied from the restaurant create but obviously the fields will be different i am not going to work on that it's a react hook forms and we are not going to submit through the actions next next these actions we can simply get the data and we can hit the next this apis from the client component so there is not much rocket science we are performing it's a simple form when you submit it you got the json object from the react hook forms that json object you can submit to the to the next js api routes so in the next js APIs, we already have a restaurant create restaurant menu create uh, i mean add a restaurant menu where the restaurant id is particular uuid so here we are doing add restaurant and we already have an access to the restaurant id so we know uh, we know the url uh, on the next JS API side, okay, we need to hit uh, restaurant menu create, food menu item create. And this is the restaurant which we are adding. So let me check some service is not running. That's why it is not rendering the results. So to run this, I need to run the user service, restaurant service, proxy service, and dashboard admin uh, next JS. And all needs to work parallelly. Sometimes I start something else, port is getting occupied. So always keep all these four port free for your development and I will start uh, let's see what is running on this I will kill this port kill minus nine this port ID and then I can start the restaurant service again npm run start dev so for all those things I have a docker up and running uh, services up and running lots of things needs to work right to get things running so here i will reload this page and i should be able to see the restaurant maybe the docker is not running yeah that is the thing so it got invoked it is taking you to the restaurant service and okay i need to log out so the thing is here there are two uh, things we also need to synchronize the session timeout session expiry so whatever the expiry we are using with the next auth we need to use the same expiry with the user service token so now i can get uh, the restaurant uh, items all the restaurant i can navigate to a particular restaurant and i can see the restaurant menu items now you can click or you can just do add on this uh, url so there is a another next gsp is available when you add a restaurant restaurant id and add folder 
because it's a folder based routing in the next case 13.x so when i add this queues with the form so this is totally different page and here i can customize all the different options okay restaurant uh, uh food food menu item ingredient it is for the breakfast lunch or dinner okay what is the cost for two uh, thumbnail all these things you can customize here and you are already have the restaurant id so you can hit the the post api and i need to create the same endpoint on the next js api routes also which will allow me to create a new food menu items on the restaurant id okay so this is what it is doing i mean next all is actually the same thing we need to do whatever we have already done this is all the restaurant we have navigate and then also there is an add so if you just try to click restaurant forward slash add there is an option to add a new restaurant also right that contains a simple form that also does the same api call it actually when the form on the form submission we are hitting the restaurant create so that's pre that's uh, pretty much we have i will try to see like what else we need to add on this uh, application otherwise this is a dashboard admin this is just only about the play and the integration i hope this is helpful how we are doing integration of a next next js with the external apis created in the next js okay you can make it as complex as you want start keep adding the apis in the next js and then those apis are forwarding the request to your uh, next js apis and getting the response back which you can visualize because the session and token already exist okay so that's it uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you